Metro family. You know what? It ain't nothing like a big tall bottle of lemonade on a hot practice day in the warehouse. Ain't nothing like a big bottle of cold lemonade on a hot Saturday day at the warehouse raceway. But yeah, today we're gonna do a old school versus new school radio. We're just gonna see how much difference in the response time. Is it hype or is it for real, for real? Now I'm gonna give y'all history on this controller right here. This up. Radio Pulse controller came out in 2013. Y'all can research it and y'all see that this was the top of the line back then in 2013. This is the so called latest and greatest Sanwa M17. Been liking it so far, but I want to I just want to show y'all the comparison tell y'all the difference between an old school high-end radio and a new school high-end radio. We're just going to have a battle royale right quick. New school in the buggy. Then we're going to have the old school radio post in the truggy. And we're going to keep our tanks nice and cool with that big bottle of TNR lemonade baby yes sir but yeah we're just gonna do a just gonna see the difference in between the older technology or this radio post like I said the radio post was a uh, top of the line radio back in the day back in 2013 compared to the M17 that came out a couple of years ago, Sandwild M17. So, all right, y'all, let me get these fired up. We're gonna run the old school first in the truggy. Then we're gonna come back, do the new school M17 in the buggy. All right, y'all.
All right, y'all. Let me get the buggy ready. One second. Hold on. Let me get the buggy ready. Buggy. All right, got the buggy going. For the see? M17.
All right, family. Well, the verdict is, y'all already know. M17 is faster, more responsive, especially when I'm coming around here. After I come around here, especially with the M17, when I go over this, the whoop section right here, when I get ready to make this 180, it just seems like with the M17, I can hug the pipe tighter right here. It seems like it responds quicker when I put my steering inputs in, so the car hugs the pipe a little quicker right here. So I felt the difference right there with that with this M17 compared to my old radio post. Um, where else? Where else can I show y'all? Um, the throttle response. The throttle response coming out this 180. But this is the this is an incline, so you got to slow down. Go up this little berm right here. So this is a berm right here. See how it's down here? So this is a berm right here. So, braking here, then getting back on the throttle here, it seems like it get back up, up to speed. More throttle response here, coming up, up on the bridge. So when I get here to the bridge, I just hit my brakes so the nose will stay down so I won't actually jump over the bridge so i feel the difference there in the response with the m17 and the coming out of corners and braking accelerating so when i come here i'm kind of right here i'm kind of on brakes and coasting right here a little bit getting ready for this backside big jump i know jump don't look that big from from the uh, camera view. I just want to show y'all up close. It's a nice size of the jump. From here. Over here. To here. Back up this um, off camera tabletop corner right here. See? Actually, that's, that's how far that double is from that corner coming up from the other side of the, the first jump the first double the first jump to the second jump to right here so that's a good little gap so come around here like I said this up tabletop off camera up here back down here And you gotta be careful here because going downhill, going from here, downhill to this corner, you're gonna carry a little bit of speed. So when you get ready to turn, you gotta be careful so you won't turn into the corner right here. So, but yeah, but yeah. Long story short, M17 is really good. It really is good. It's really worth the money. But, if you're a basher, I wouldn't waste my money on this. I'd just save up, get tires or engines or something like that and just get you a, a good, decent, you know, mid-grade radio. But if you want this, cool. But, if you're bashing, stick with what you got. I would get a good mid-grade. Like $150 to um, $200 would be good radio for bash but this radio posting again like I say it's more responsive it's more responsive I mean the radio post is good because it's just a look it's a it's slower slow response but really especially if you're on like a loose track this right here would be better because it, it allow you to keep keep traction. It allow you to um, 
be able to react to what your car doing because it, it's a little bit slower response. The car is not as quick, you know what I'm saying? So it won't break traction, especially if you're on a loose track. This will be good because just that a little bit slower. Not a whole lot, but you can tell the difference. But like I say, this will be good like on a loose track or a track that's loose or in the sand or, or um, maybe a track with a lot of bumps. Because when you got some quick responses, a lot of times the quick responses videos will help you. It would um, cause you to grab, cause the bumps to grab you, you know what I'm saying? It cause you to, the car to grab the bumps with all that quick response. So it's, this is, yeah, this is no doubt quicker response, newer technology, but also you can win with this. It's not that far off. It's really not. So like I said, if you're bashing, if you have a radio that's like $150 mid-grade radio, I would I would keep it instead of spending your money on the sand wall unless you just want to. Now if you get it, if you're a basher, cool, that's fine. You, if you got it like that, cool, go, go for it. Go for it. You will be you'll be thoroughly satisfied with this. But if you're not and you're ready to save your money for tires, kicks, engines, or something like that, if you're a basher or whatever, then keep your radio you got. If, especially if it's a good mid-grade and newer. So this go back to 2013. If you got anything from 2015 on up or something like that, or you're good. You're not too far off from this as far as your response time. But um, also I can, if this gets too responsive, I can turn this down. And also on this radio post, you can also turn it down or turn it up. It has a response thing in it too. In the menu, let's see I can go here. See how your, your speed, your steering speed, driving speed. So you got the speed there. And also you have just advance, advance. Got them all out of mixing override. So you have all these. Like I said, this is a high-end older radio, so it's got everything you need in here. So, but yeah. Great. Okay. So yeah. Like I said, San Juan is good. I really don't know this menu that well, but you have all your settings in here. You got I don't know this menu that well yet. I'm still learning this one. So. So you got everything. Throttle steering. Throttle 100, 100. Brake. So. Let's see here. Go through it a little bit. Um. All right, settings. Here you got your settings. Your um, auxiliary mixing timer, telemetry model system. Go down to settings. Then you got. So, let's 
set it back. Okay. So, scroll back. Like I said, I don't know it good yet, y'all. But, we good now. So yeah, I'm gonna say it. Damn. Speed. So we got your speed here. Like I said, you got your um forward is all 100 percent So I can adjust all that in this. So I can turn the speed down, or either if I wanna put a curve in my on my servos, I can put a curve in it right there. And this is my base. My base settings. And then, like my feeling here, so you got speed and you got the feeling. The feeling is you can, I can adjust my steering speed from 7S to back down to one. This is the fastest right here, seven. See, can we change it? See, it goes all the way down to, see one speed all the way up to, all the way up to seven. So yeah. So yeah, Sam, while pretty advanced, and like I said, it's good. Both of them are really good, though. Like I said, you still, you still, you still can be competitive with this. But it's just newer, more modern technology, newer technology, and um. So yeah, San Juan, San Juan. It's truly the winner in this category. But like I said, you still can win with this. And like I said, if you have a good older model radio, like I say, is um from 2015 up until now, you're not far off. If you have, especially if you have a a newer for 2015 top of the line, like a Sanwa M12, M12 RS, all those are good. They're not far from those. Either the Fatabas up on the same level. A couple of years behind Fatabas or Sanwas or Spectrums or um, any of those. If you're a couple of years behind, like 2021 models, you're not far off from the technology of the Sanwa. So if you have the money, yeah, awesome investment. But if you got a good mid grade of 2013 high line, top of the line radio up to 2015 top of the line radio, you're not far off from the Sanwa. Wild Nitro family at the track, practice weekend, drinking some of this good old, ooh, some of this good old lemonade, having a good time up here. Catch y'all on the next go round. Hey, remember, treat people the way you want to be treated. Action speak loud in words. Let them haters be your motivators. Action speak loud in words. My baby over there. Action speak louder than words. Hey. If you ain't ripping, you tripping. But how you gonna be able to be a good tuner if you ain't out there ripping? Turning needles. Trying to get the best, not settling for less. Ooh, that boy rhyming. But yeah. Just out here having a little fun. I'm about to get on the road. It's raining right now, so I'm gonna Hang it here for a little bit while longer to slack up a little bit. But all right, family. Just in the playhouse. So you got pit areas upstairs too. Here in the warehouse. Those are pit areas. 
and this air conditioner up there air conditioned up there but I'm down here in the dungeon baby grinding that's how we do it but all right y'all let me go and practice run these couple of these tanks out I'll see y'all on my next live all right family later left tire salute